I can feel a little bit of it, can't you? That's a little kid on me. To Phoenix and Wendy's hunting, uh, I mean, Phoenix and yeah, Phoenix and Grandma's hunting adventures. But my grandmother has just shot a or killed a three foot coral snake, could be a little more, but she did it with the old style stuff and used a shovel. That shovel has killed many snakes before bull snake, bull snake, you name it. Yeah, hold the camera still though. Are you talking? Yeah. I'm out here doing yard work. It's August 4th, 2009. We're out here in the front yard, the courtyard at my house, where the kids, the grandkids all come over and play every day and all our pets. And I saw him run inside that palm tree. And so I ran in and got my pistol with rat snot, rat snot, rat shot, snake shot. We call it snake shot around here because we shoot a lot of snakes. And uh, he disappeared pretty much in the base of the palm. So we got the water hose and flushed him out a little bit and I got the last half of him I could see but his head was stuck in the ground so I went ahead and shot the parts that I could see to slow him down because the snake's pretty toxic. Uh, generally uh, a coral snake can bite you anywhere it can pinch skin. It doesn't have to be between your toes or fingers like some of the old wives tells. That's, that's horseshit. Um, if it can pinch skin it can bite you and generally it takes 10 minutes for the venom to do its job and you to die. And most time Whenever you're in, a, in the country side where these snakes are found, there's not a hospital within 10 minutes, so it's pretty much a death sentence. And uh, so we decided to go ahead and remove this because we don't want any of our grandchildren to be bit by a toxic snake. And if you're a snake lover, too bad. <laughs> Kiss my app. We're going to kill the snakes. That Kiss are... our butt. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to kill the snakes that can kill our grandkids or our pets. I'm a grandkid, but I, if, I have, if I have something near me that can hurt it, and I had to alarm grandma. But anyway, this is a beautiful snake. Too bad it's just in the wrong place. It, it, we can't have this living around the house. If it was in the pasture, it wouldn't be any better because me and Katie still play well, out there, yeah, too. Well, I'm talking about you know, around our house. This is our house. This is our home. And Phoenix, how do you know that this is a coral snake since you play around my yard? Red and yellow, killer fellow, fr uh, red and black, friend of Jack. So if you saw this and Grandma wasn't out here, what would you do? I would go inside and alarm you. There you go. Would you stay away from it? But it, yes, I would. But what if you're not here and yeah, Grandpa? What would, you do, what would you do if I wasn't around and for you to tell that there's a coral snake here at the house? Use a phone. There you go. But if. What if I can't get to the phone right away? And okay. It's always good to have a contingency plan to know what to do whenever you're out in the country. Or at least have a old... So, well, let's take a look at this sucker and see what he looks like on the, with a white background. We're going to let him out here. Let me see if I can't get his head in the sunshine. See how small the head is? Bet he's got a pretty big mouth. We saw him opening his mouth a while ago, so. Uh, it's a pretty wicked little snake. Beautiful, though. I'm just scared, you know, one of the younger grandkids wouldn't know better and think it was something cool to play with. Now, that's where my grandma shot it. Right around there. Okay. You're getting pretty close there, buddy. Well, that's the end of it today. Coral Thanks for snakes, watching. Jackson, Texas. See you next time. Thanks for watching Phoenix and Wendy's Hunting Adventures. Ha! Huh. That was pretty good.